Yakima County Commissioners have selected the projects they want to fund with millions of mental health sales tax dollars. Hunter Phipps reports on what they did and did not choose. Part of your money when you buy something in Yakima County is put into the mental health sales tax fund. This week, county commissioners have decided on how they want to use those funds within the community. Kyle Curtis tells me they focused on gaps in youth services, the homeless response, as well as the criminal justice system. Every project, every program that's moving forward is uh, tying back to those reports and, and mitigating those gaps that we're experiencing in our community. So it's very strategic. Part of their investments includes over $2 million into external projects over the next two years. And this includes money for a new behavioral health program at Pacific Northwest University. This is a definite need in our community and the fact that we're not just growing our own here locally, but actually establishing a program uh, at, the, at the college there is uh, a nice step forward. Funding will also be going to Barth Clinic and Rod's House for projects targeting substance abuse and youth behavioral health. But two projects did not make the cut from the initial applications. This includes the Catholic Charities Project and a new homeless shelter in Tobinish. Curtis tells me the reason is because of restrictions for these funds. Maybe the legislature didn't have the intent of preventing new construction, but nonetheless, the way it's worded, it does prevent new construction. And this tax will continue and more money will be heading into this fund as people make purchases in the coming years. Curtis says the approach will be the same for funding projects down the road. We want to make sure that any program, if it's a successful program, that it's sustainable in years to come. Reporting in Yakima, I'm Hunter Phipps for Action News. Curtis also told us they're working to put together a resolution to finalize the fund distribution by the middle of December.